My name is Army Corporal Roberto Cruz. While serving in Iraq in 2005, I was shot by a sniper. This resulted in a spinal cord injury, loss of use of my left arm, and PTSD. Well, my father was an Army Vietnam vet, and, you know, and I want to follow his steps, so I, was, I joined the Army as well. When I joined, it was like that camaraderie, and it's, it was unique. I was deployed to create Iraq one day, it was August 14, it was a Sunday. I had tower guard duty. I told my team leaders that, that the rounds are getting closer, I think they're shooting at us. I was standing, scanning with the M240. I was like this, looking through the scope, put the weapon down, and then turned to my right side. Everything changed. It was like a silence for a couple seconds, then my ears started ringing. Three seconds after that, I was just laying on my back. I said, God, I don't care if, um, if I die right here, right now. You know, let it be your will. But please give strength to my family because they're gonna, they're gonna need it. I was in a coma for close to a week, I think. When I got to Walter Reed and I woke up from, from that coma, I didn't know where I was. So the doctors came, there was a group of doctors. And they're like, well, um, you're gonna be paralyzed the rest of your life because your bullet, the, the bullet took your spinal cord. I was so young, I was like 23 years old. I didn't want to leave. I told them, you know what, this is not the end. I'm not, I'm not gonna give up. After two years, I was able to, to stand on my legs and walk. So I live in Wesley Chapel for it and now. When I first got there, it was, it was challenging. I had to sit in a wheelchair and, and try to manage the wheelchair around the house and it's, it was not accessible. The turns, like it was so narrow, the doorways, it was it was always something. There's a second floor and then uh, there's another room there and, and I can't get there. I, I couldn't get there, it's hard. So I, I avoid that area at all times. It's hard to move around and, and do things that you like, like someone is so easy to do, like in the kitchen, not trying to cook from for myself or my daughters, I mean, it's, it's, it was, it's always challenging. I was doing something, uh, an event for, for, with veterans, and um, I was talking to another wounded uh, veteran. He was telling me about that, that he was working with our disorganization, that they were gonna build him a house, it's a pr uh, process. He said, hey, he's called home for our troops. And when I got home, uh, I went online, was ready, and that's when I submitted my application. And yeah, I was like, that, that's a blessing, because I mean, it's a, especially at that home, so it's great. If I were to receive a home for home for our troops, it would be so much to me, because I can, I would feel more safe at my own place. It would be easier for me to do so many things, like move around the house and like the cooking. I don't have to worry about going up the stairs. I don't have to be worrying about getting injured or falling again. It's like being reborn, you know? And you feel like you're in a place that, that, that you belong, that is just it's like adapted for you, for your needs, and, and, and that's huge. Thank God I had the blessing to have two beautiful daughters. One is 16 years old, her name is Leza, and my youngest, her name is Adriana. They changed my life. Um, without them, I wouldn't be here right now. If I have to go through all what I, that I went in my life, again, I'll do it just to be with them, to have them with me. If I were to, to, you know, to get this home, it would mean so much to me and, and, and and my daughters as well. There will be a place that they know that dad is gonna be safe, that nothing's gonna happen, they don't have to be always keeping an eye on me anymore. They know I'm gonna be more independent. It will, it will be, it's life changing. Hope for a Troop is uh, like a big family. And to any donors and supporter, thank you for everything that they do. Without them, uh, we wouldn't be able to enjoy the rest of life the way we were supposed to and be there for our families and to keep doing what they're doing because they're changing lives and saving lives. Because believe it or not, like we go through a lot of stuff mentally and, and having hope for a truth with us and changing our lives is saving us as well at the same time. Thanks to them, 
जय जो नाइशन